Halo, halo, halo. Your halo, halo, halo. What do you have to do? <clears throat> Are we filming? Yeah. Oh. Oh, we're gonna start. No. Okay, Brent just realized. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome back, YouTube. The laser shooting robots are back with You don't have to shake the box. I like it. It looks like the box is talking. Yeah. Anyways, laser shooting robots are back with a Halo, the Master Chief collection. Play Arts Kai Halo 2 Master, Master Chief. Chief. I think I repeated lots of redundant phrasings in there. Yeah, but it all says in the front of the box. Oh well. So comes with a nice window packaging which you can open up and it comes with a huge ass John Spartan. Wow. Is that his name? Mm hmm yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. My name is John Spartan. So, yeah, uh, this is a little bit of a huge box. So I'm just going to open it up. And, yeah. Well, there's the back this of the box. box. is huge. You forgot the flap on the inside that tells you about everything. I'm not going to read every single little you piece do. of text Public over here. speaking. Uh, now the text is upside down. Who will read that? I'm open being, the box. I'm being that facetious. box is really huge, and our uh, director is kind of holding the camera up in a weird way. Oh god, he's got a knife. Chop, 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 chop! So dear. Yes. Do dogs do that? I'm sorry, I, I, okay. Because I was a cat guy and I know cats always did that, but I'm pretty sure. Cats don't want to do that. <laughs> Not if you train it properly. I'm pretty sure uh, dogs would probably have a similar thing to that, I think. Oh look, it's the giant useless play arts Kai stand they started including. Yeah, I don't I understand those things. Like six I also hate it because now they printed the instructions on the boxes. I don't keep my boxes. I just keep my instructions. Oh, I smell this plastic. Wow, so can I. And oh. I'm pretty sure that <laughs> our viewers through the camera can too. Wow, that smells like polyurethane something something something. This guy's heavy. Ooh, he is heavy. Size comparison. 7 inch figure, this guy's clearly a 10 inch motherfucker. Look at him, he is so big. I think if people were closing their eyes, they wouldn't know that I was talking about toys, but they would probably think I was talking about penis sizes. Hooray! Ooh, I like this thing. You, 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 you. Anyway, look at all that. Later. Yeah, this guy's freaking huge. <laughs> He's really big. Brass and joints. Probably a good thing in a way, because uh, this guy is kind of heavy. Does he have those weird shoulders, like the shoulders that allow him to pull inwards, but... Like that? A little bit, yeah. It causes some backwards arm deformation. It's not as bad as not some players. Well, some players figures actually leave like a visibly like... Yeah, but these are new. Hole. These players are Kai and I. Oh, no, no. But players Kai did that, too. Did they? <laughs> well, well, this is my second player. Yes, it's very nice. Very nice. I'm not a huge Halo player. I kind of like the multiplayer, but... I couldn't turn down this guy. So why did you buy? I don't know. <laughs> I just answered your question. Like you just did. It's really well sculpted too. I mean, this thing is crazy. I swear to God, this thing is like. So we got a gun. This thing's almost. It's almost yeah. It's about almost eleven inches tall. I think. Yeah, I think the new player arts is uh, eleven inches. Yeah, ten to eleven. That's something they can never keep their scaling right. And then you have like lightning, like Final Fantasy thirteen two lightning. She's like, I'm this big, and then regular lightning's like this big. It's like guys, get it together. So. I guess naturally this guy, I presume, would be taller than the average man anyway, right? He is. So, because he's a Spartan. So you do have uh, different stocks and everything for the guns. Hua, 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 hua. You got the uh, beam sword. You know, I was going to kind of say something about it. It looks okay. I don't know. I thought it would be more translucent. The only nicer one I've seen in this year, because there's not too many action figures of John Spartan, the Kulapukia one. Yeah, like I thought, like a statue, because I thought it was kind of clearish. And like, this is kind of it actually, it is, it is actually clear. But it's quite painted, though. I you think can see it better. The box painted. is painted. I think it's going for like the lightning effect on it, yeah. because it does have a little bit of a sparking effect. Mm -hmm. But it is translucent. Yeah, so you I can't, guess you can't really see it probably on the puts, camera, but yeah, you can see it on hand for it. Sheer, like it's a bit translucent when you hold up to light, right? But like just when you look at it for face value, it especially says, when it's in the box, it's like that doesn't look good at all. It yeah. looks like a blue. I don't know. Plastic. I just kind of, I just kind of thought, like it looks. Don't get me wrong. Like the shape's awesome and everything's good, but it just, it's not as clear as I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be like really, really, really clear. Stop stabbing yourself. Stop stabbing because yourself. of a bunch Stop of hands. Yourself. Stop stabbing yourself. And uh, what's this thing? I Director, haven't... what is this thing?
Tastes like nutmeg. Wait. I don't know what that is. It's not. Is it not like a spare? That's not a pig. It also has got a clamp around it. You know, I gotta say the one thing about the beam shirt, it looks like the most uncomfortable thing to wield. Yeah, no, really. This like is the this, hand for This it. thing clearly is not ergonomically designed. Then again, it was designed with what the aliens that the Arbiters were, so they kind of had different hand structures. So, you know. Guess they there are players, really... you gotta heat them up a herd where I really get them in the position because my girlfriend's got. Actually, there are a couple more players. They got the you Kingdom do. Hearts. My girlfriend's got the Kingdom one. Hearts. We did not review those ones here, but you can no. request it, and then we may cover them. So, that looks like the most uncomfortable weapon to wield in the world. Uh, I can't Spock do that, huh? Like, I can't do the Spock uh, hands. Uh, uh. Yeah, I know. It's not ergonomic. At it makes your hand look like a spider. Spider hand! Look at the spider. Yeah, wow. It also looks like it make an excellent sex toy. Double-ended. Oh. oh my. <laughs> but, yes, he does come with rifles. I wonder, can you maybe attach the guns together? You can do this. Say what? That. Here's it stocks. Wow. Okay, so, pop quiz, because I haven't played a Halo game apart from multiplayer, and I never paid attention to what the guns were apart from saying, you picked up a shotgun. Um, what weapons do we have here? Okay, Director, that's... you're our Halo expert here. Because what is this, this rifle called? called? Rifle. It's just a standard assault rifle. Maybe the box would actually tell us. Director, this is a standard assault rifle. I'm going by Plasma his. Plasma sword. I'm going by his term. And then we've got interchangeable hands. Wait, those and are. He also dual wield the uh, assault rifle. Nice. And he comes with two of them. Wow, he is big. I just can't get over how big this figure is. Oh, I change that hand here. Oh, oh God. Really easy to change that. So that's definitely not a spare pig. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, I want the short stock on. He wears short stocks. Whoa. Hey guy, what's up? So this guy is. He is cool. That is actually pretty. I mean, honestly, like this is. I would say it's probably pretty much like a definitive Halo figure. I mean, unless like someone like 3A makes a six scale or Hot Toys makes a six scale version, this guy's gonna be like pretty much the apex of a Halo collector. Oh, unless you get the Code Pikia one, which they are doing. You got the PS Halo figure, and mm -hmm. then you can get customized changeable parts for it. But it's not an action figure. Oh, it's a model. It's uh, a model, like normal Kobe Kia. They don't but... like McFarlane tried doing that. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah McFarlane, but they're. So their figures weren't very good. Yeah, well, her quality issues were okay, and then some of them just didn't sell well. Thanks, winners. But what you also do, you also pull them with the blade in one hand, and then you get the gun in the other. Oh. Could you deal with do a the combo like that? I probably sound like a total noob saying that. Oh, you can. I never played anything beyond Halo 1. But. So. It's, it's, if, if you know anything in the Take comments, it. tell me what this thing is. Take lid. Good, I do not. Take lid. Two two. Because the instructions, I don't think so. No, no, no. I mean, it doesn't look like a peg. And I mean, maybe, well, there's like a hole here in the gun. Well, oh, there's a hole here in the gun. I think maybe. Oh, can... I know what it is. Mm, me too. Give me that peg back. Because I said you put it in the hole in the gun. Yes, you put it in the hole in the gun. And you put the gun in the back. Mm. There's a dog in the crotch. So it is useful. <laughs> we don't need the dog. Lucky's photo bombing. So. Oh, okay. So it's weapon storage. Okay. He's Just... got gear technically. He's got rubber parts. Kind of like a red fourteen. Yes. Okay. So he's got lots of articulation. Tons of ratchet joints, and actually he's pretty stable, actually, which is something. He doesn't need think... the sand. No. No need for that. No, actually, ridiculous I think a lot of stand. players kind of like came, came with the useless stand of ever. Um, don't need it. I think um, it's more for Dark Knight, more Dark Knight Rises Catwoman kind of did the, she's a little topsy turvy. He also has boot cuts as well. Wow, his toes move. Because if I had boots that big, I don't think my toes would be moving that much. Wiggle your big toe. I am. My shoes are just so damn big. Let's try again. Pose is a little bit trickier. Yeah. But actually, the knees look good, too, because actually, it's this, this whole knee disc thing on some of the earlier figures, like, um, they look pretty cruddy, for simply put. They were actually, like, almost, like, square or rectangular in shape, so it really messes up the look of the knee. Yeah. But then now they finally kind of realize that human knees don't do that, so that's good. Wow. Click, click, click. 
Ratchet joints. So that's the thing about ratchet joints. Sometimes they're great for stability, but sometimes they're really a pain in the ass to kind of get in the sweet spot because they're like, I can't get in the sweet spot because I'm clickety. See lots of hands here, you say. Stop. Talk to the hand. I grip weapons. I got a trigger finger. There we go. He's back to standing. But I got my plasma sword hand. Ow. So he's a great little figure. Yeah. Wow. If I wouldn't say little, though, either. He's pretty freaking big. He's not the hot toy size. <laughs> he's holding his gun like derpy. <laughs> I'm like, a noob. <laughs> uh, it's my first day playing. It's my first day. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm putting my hand on the hole here because I think it's going to leak water. <laughs> John Spartan, we're just messing with you. <sighs> oh, but look at his shoulder joint. Look at that. Ow! Yeah, that's, that's it. I didn't know his arm so was that so, much. While we may lament the fact that, yes, like, you know, like, archery figures can't get the pose, this guy can get the pose, but aesthetically it looks like, whoa, what the hell. Well, you won't see it from the back. Look, I'm that, putting, that's, it, that's the one I'm putting my thumb it. in his finger in his shoulder hole. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no, he's going to cap me in ass in the face. Stop fisting yourself. Can he? He can. <laughs> He's standing sexy. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, is he is, that, is, he is genetically uh, made for be a warrior, so he doesn't actually have a need to reproduce or anything out there. So he stands like this. <laughs> sexy, sexy, it's all I do. <laughs> I'm not so sure if he will actually need to stand, because he is kind of top heavy. Yeah, I think if you center him. I think it'd be center it's, it's going to take a while to get the right pose out of him oh, and everything, so... Oh, are solid. Oh, I know they're solid. Why do I have a little trouble dun, posing them? But, dun, yeah. Dun, dun. He's not the cheapest figure in the world because he is play arts, and uh, that's yeah. not cheap. No. But no. if he gave him a right price, I'd definitely say he's worth it. He's definitely good for a collector. Yeah, especially if you're a giant Halo fan. And then you got a giant Halo figure. There you go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Actually, I want to see what they compare to Laura Croft. <laughs> oh, Clear. I see. Sorry, fake sign off. Psych out. In the meantime, I'm photo bombing. Watch me in this other video that was probably released this week. I am not showcasing the figure on here because I like a dog. Let's see. I think this banner. He likes to stand wide. Oh, much better. Doesn't he look more badass now? Oh, yeah, let's put let's give him sass. He's like, mm mm. -mm. <laughs> okay, I think I made it worse, but anyways. Holy god! So this is the other player it's apart from Red 14 I have. And thankfully, I got it's a good deal because you buy the game for ten bucks more, and you get the figure of it. Yeah, that's probably why they lost so much money on it because they gave us too good of a package. Yeah, but look, but it's this, like you can buy this figure for sixty bucks in the store. And this is kind of my only qualm with Player It's Kite is like there's no sense of universal scale. They're like, oh, it's a different property, so let's just make him fucking huge. I mean, <coughs> is he seven feet tall? He's just, he's patting her on the head. <laughs> she's like, oh. oh, my friends are dead, and then he's just like, there, there, little girl. It'll be okay. They can be with something like a gay guy. You're getting a sequel. <laughs> I, I have to hold him up by the leg. If not, he'll fall and crush Lara Croft with his mess. <laughs> but he is also taller than a regular human in the games. This much? I'm mm -hmm. not sure what the, his way based away in the future, and they're actually taller than normal mm -hmm. humans are today. Mm -hmm. I just feel for your lumps. And as you can see, this is one of the stands I got for like two bucks from Japan. They were great for these player figures too, so I'm actually no. put one John Sporton. <laughs> He's like an industrial. He needs an industrial holdathon. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> you can't wrap it around his ass. This Spartan ass is so damn big. Hey, this hold. Oh, it does. It does. Surprisingly, it does. There you go. I, I think he's. But you can actually make these stands taller. Yeah. I did get twenty more of these from Japan, so they actually are a good deal, and uh, they work well for most of my figures. No, oh, there you go. John Spartan. There you have it, guys. Winners don't do drugs. Winners Except for he's a genetically do... modified person who probably does take lots of narcotics. Well, probably, yes. Especially the amount of guy dimes this guy gets shot up. And yeah. tea bagged. Hmm. 
definitely teabag. <laughs> Tend to make him do a teabagging pose once I get him uh, on the shelf. <laughs> well, you need another one of these guys for him to teabag. That's the worst part. I, mean, I don't think I'm going to do that then. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks for watching, YouTube. I'm very excited to see you. No. Plasma erection. <laughs> thanks for watching, YouTube. I'll see you again next time.